Hello everyone, in this video I would like to talk about Wiglot WooCommerce. I do recommend Wiglot if you have an online store, especially because, and probably the main focus of course of any online store is to make up sales, make up the conversions, create traffic. And if you're aiming to gain international traffic, then Wiglot could be the best option. And I will go into the why I'll further in the video and how what are the advantages of having Wiglot among any other alternatives. You can try out Wiglot for free. You can install it in your WordPress website. And here I will have a dummy website, a test website, where I have a little bit of text. I have some blog posts to show how easy it's to translate. And actually it will take me more to really explain about Wiglot than the time that it takes to do the translation and you will see after. And why I principally, why I do recommend Wiglot. If you have probably more than hundreds or hundreds or thousands of products with other plugins, it might take a little bit more time to translate. This is a really simple website. I have here the descriptions, the additional information and so on. And going one by one to translate each product, that could take time. And if you're a solopreneur or if you have a small team, then having Wiglot is like having an expert translator into your own team. Like if, and you don't really have to focus that much. Of course, there will be minor details to really take care of if you want to have 100% translation like a native translation but Wiglot gives you that so let's go here to the dashboard and in the plugins area just like by adding a new one we will search for Wiglot and we can install now as I mentioned you can do it this for free and if you really like Wiglot then you can do the upgrades according to the plan that fits your needs in this website, I do have Elementor, Elementor Pro, that it's also combined with the WooCommerce, of course. I have Emato Elements that I use for creating an easy template. You can use it. It's kind of a freemium. You can have free templates, but also if you want to have more advanced features, they also have a paid version. And for SEO, I have RankMath to have the changes of the title, meta titles, uh, the descriptions and also for the sitemaps. RankMath does it just also automatically in terms of the sitemaps and you can be changing the titles and descriptions according to the pages or products. It's one of the most now recommended over Joost. RankMath it's really good plugin. So here we have the Wiglot Translate. We can go directly to settings. And here it will ask for the API key. I already have one from the previous videos that I recorded. But if in order to get the API key, once you register it, you can go to the dashboard of Wiglot, give the project name, and here you can select them on the different from the different platforms that you can use. You can also use Wiglot for BigCommerce, Drupal, Magento, PrestaShop, Shopify, Webflow, Weebly, Wix and some others. And of course, here we can select in this case for WooCommerce, WordPress. We will have here our first API key and we will just have to copy to the paste. And in case that we have a different language, of course, different from English, we can select and search among the different languages that are available. As you can see, there are plenty of ones that Wiglot has. And we can choose the destination languages. And also according to the plan, you can select more than one, three, 10, up to 10 or 20, according if you have the advanced or even the bigger plan. In this case, I have the advanced plan, but I will start with Spanish. And that's it. That's mainly most of the great big configuration that you have to do. Here on the WordPress website, in the dashboard, you can change the language switcher, how it looks. If you want to drop down or next to the language. Also, if you want to remove flags, the type of flag that you want to show, the name, 
and also if you want a shorter name. If you want to add CSS, you can also do it. If you want to add the menu, the language switcher on the menu, you can do it from the appearance and then menus. I will show you. You can just add it as any other page. Here we have it. We can just add the language switcher. So before having the saved, here we have down the language switcher. And if I save, here we have it up here, the language switcher. So I will just remove it here. Just keep it at normal. And more options that we can do is to exclude URLs also from the dashboard from WordPress. Add the redirections. Again, depends if we have a visitor from Germany and you want to redirect directly to German language. You can do it by the browser language. Also, to translate email, AMPs, or the search WordPress, you can do it as well. So now let's go here to the dashboard. It will detect automatically the setup. We can select the type of website industry that we are on. In this case, I will just show business services. And in the type of website, you can select again also according to the type of of your own. And here I will select e-commerce. So this is the part of the dashboard weglot where we can see which is our translation, original translation language and towards which it's translated to. Here we can see the plan that we are currently. You can change whenever you want or as you keep growing, you can choose a better plan. In this case, as I mentioned, I'm using the advanced plan because here in the advanced plan, you can translate the URL slugs that I will be showing later on. And that's one of the, an important factor or it's a recommended factor in international SEO. It's not a totally a must to do, but it's uh, recommended. I just installed, I haven't done anything special. So if I go back here to the website, I have my English website. And if I just click here to the language, in this case in Spanish, it's translated. As you can see, it's the only thing that I have done. And the website, it's translated. Of, of course, I have some dummy text here, but the English language phrases, sentences, it's already translated. As easy as that, let's change back to English. We have that language. If I go to the blog section, we have here our English text. And again, if I just click to Spanish, it does the work at the instant. You don't have to really do that much just in case that you want to do some changes to it. some manual changes, you can do it from the dashboard. But now focusing also on the e-commerce part, we have already here the titles of the products translated. Some might be okay, some not, of course, might be really properly translated. But if we go here, we can see that the descriptions of the products are translated. Here we have the size. So if we go here to English, we have size, color, and it's directly add to cards. So this is strings that sometimes probably with other plugins may take a little bit more time to do the translation. Wiglet does the work automatically. Also here in the description, it's, have, it's done at the instant the additional information as well. So that's the really good part of using a plugin such as Wiglot. So you don't have to really worry about doing this work. 
And that's uh, probably the biggest advantage of using an accurate translator such as Wiglot and Wiglot for WooCommerce since, as I mentioned, we might have plenty of products that we don't really have the time to focus on the translation, then that's why I really highly recommend Wiglot on this side. Another important aspect that I would like to show, it's in the part of international SEO and how also Wiglot focuses automatically on that area. So I have this Spanish version. If I go to watch the code, then I have already translated or it was already translated the title into Spanish and also the description, it's in Spanish. Another important factor for international SEO it's the HRE flanks, which they state that this link, it's an English version and that there is a, like another copy or another page with the same type of content, but in this case, it's in Spanish. With the HRE flanks, we are stating to search crawlers such as Google or can be Bing or any other Jandex. This way, the crawlers can understand that the content is in Spanish and that this is not a duplicated content. So that might be something that might worry uh, to, to the website owners, but in the case of, of Wiglot and also in some other plugins such as WPML, they take charge of this automatically. They add the alternate in order to say, okay, we have our original page in English, but we do have a copy that it's in Spanish. So when you show that, is the way that our website is telling, show this page to Spanish speaking users. Another important thing that I would also like to show and is the URL translation. For example, here we have the Spanish version and the URL is currently in English. So another of the advantages of, of having Wiglot advanced plan is the translation of the URL slugs. Here we can start watching all the pages that are being translated. Here we already have the, the same page. So I'll just, for a matter of showing how to translate, we can just add that translated slug. Of course, this is not totally SEO optimized. It will be just recommended to use uh, tips for international sale. But now that it's saved, and if we go back here to the page, now we can see that it's translated to what we manually added. And in this case, it will be even also URL for user friendly. Another aspect that we will probably like to translate are images. So if we go here to languages, we can select the language that we want to translate to. Here in the language area, we can be searching for the text that we want to manually edit. But in the case of media translation, we can add a media translation here. We just click, we can search for the URL. We just copy, we add, the URL of the image, but we will have to add also to the WordPress website that translated version of the image. So if we go here to media, we can add new and I will just search for the Spanish image in this case or the other image that you want to translate. Here we can add the alt text for sale purposes. And here we will have the URL of the image. We go back to Wiglot. We just paste the new URL image and we just add it. In this way, it's going to be saved. And if we go back to our version of the page, in this case, in the Spanish version, and after updating, we will have the Spanish version in this case. And we already have translated the images. So going further here to the dashboard of Wiglot, we can also translate by URL. 
if we want to focus just on one page, it will filter out that translations that are, or the strings that are just for one page. Or we can just by searching out here. Also, we have the visual editor, which is really useful if you want to translate the content from the front end. This will be helpful just to watch directly where is the content that you want to do the translation. And here with the pencil, we can just click and do the translation manually. So if you want to do some manual changes, you can do it directly from here. And in this way, it will be easier to spot the place where it's going to be translated. If we go here to glossary, if you want to add words that must not be translated, for example, the name of the company or the name of some types of products, you can add the rule here. If you want to get some help of professional translators, Wiglot offers that service. But honestly, the translation, it's already really accurate. So in case that you want a more native translation or the help to improve even more, then in that case, it will be helpful to get some professional help. And, and as previously mentioned, we already have the URL, URL slug translation. Here on the statistics areas, he will be seeing and watching how the website is being translated. If we go to settings and you want to change the name of your project, you can do it here from general, change the URL of your website, the regional language. And also we will have here some of the same options that you have directly from the WordPress dashboard, like the auto switch or it's the redirection. Also, if you want to translate external links, change the type of the website or the website industry. If you want to delete the project, you can do it from here. Again, the language switcher options, you can change it from here. Also, if you want to change the flag of your language, you can do it directly from selecting the flags that are available. So let's say I will change it to the United States flag, in the case of English, in the case of Spanish, we can change it to Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, and so on. We can just be searching according to that language. The URL exclusion, we can add the rules in order to exclude the URLs to be translated. If you need the API key, we have it from here. If you, for some reason, you need to add it again to your WordPress website, you can get it from the settings area. The WordPress settings, again, we have the email, the search and the EMP. And if you have a team of translator, you can be adding members, the manager role or the translator role. So now I will show how to easily add more languages to see and show how easy it is to translate to translate the content. I will just add German and French. I just added it here. And if I go back to my website, I have here already the flags, as you can see, and I already have the two added new languages. So in case of German, the content is already translated. If you see here, also the titles of the blog posts and in French, again, the same content in just a matter of seconds by just adding here the languages. And if I want to keep adding more and more languages, I do recommend to keep it below five, otherwise reaching the uh, limit, it will be even faster. So to try to keep a reasonable number so that you don't have to be upgrading your plan every time, that's also one of my recommendations. And as you can see, the 
a number of, of words that are used, it's increasing. So if we go back here to the website and if we start navigating, more content will be translated. And if we also go here to the other page, we have it here again. And we're also increasing the number of words that are being used for by Wiglot. So let's update. And as you can see, French is now using more words. It's going to be automatic increase. So that's also another important factor to be considered. So this was Wiglot. Wiglot for WooCommerce can be really helpful if you want to increase the international traffic. If you're also aiming for other countries, having a multilingual plugin and such as Wiglot, it's like having an expert on your team, I mean, a multilingual expert, and it can help you to achieve your international goals if you're expanding to new international markets. Wiglot, it's a totally recommended tool for doing that work. If you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.